This is Trevor with TCRRC Videos, and today we're going to learn how to hover, or prop hang as some call it. A hover is where you take the plane into the highest state of alpha, where the nose is as far up as it can go. Now this may be a pretty difficult maneuver to learn at the first, but eventually it becomes pretty easy and almost second nature. So let's start. Before we do anything, we need to learn how to harrier which is the very beginning of the maneuver. To harrier, if you're just starting out, if you can already harrier, that's pretty good for you because this hovering is just a higher form of the harrier, but when you start out, just give a little bit of throttle, like back the throttle off a little bit and give a lot more elevator. Now eventually you'll be able to keep the nose just up in the air, higher and higher, and it will feel pretty stable. So instead of having a flat, straight flight, you'll start to have a curved upward flight like this. And eventually, once you do that, you can get it to the point where you just go straight up into the hover. But once you've gotten pretty good at just staying going forward, it's a pretty straight flight, but the Harrier, you're going to want to learn how to turn the Harrier. Now to do this, you just add rudder, the direction you want to turn, and opposite aileron. Because if you just add rudder, you turn out like that, and you just drop. But with adding the aileron with the elevator and rudder, you don't lose as much altitude. And when you turn, you probably want to give a little bit more throttle just to create a little bit more of a safety barrier so you don't stall out completely. And that's all a Harrier really is, is just a stall. But now on something else you might want to learn. Beyond the regular Harrier, getting higher and higher you want to learn an inverted Harrier which is where you just fly the plane upside down and everything's opposite this way and this will help you later when you want to learn how to hover backwards you can skip this step if you just want to hover canopy towards you and you just want to learn it quickly but an inverted Harrier, an inverted Harrier is very helpful to learn now onto the hover you bring the plane close to you and push its nose straight up in the air you want to make sure you have enough throttle to where you can stay above the ground, but not so much that you just fly up off. For the plane I'm using, you notice it's a little bit above half, half of throttle. Now the way you hover is, see, the plane might want to start dipping to the left, or dipping to the right. You use the rudder the opposite way, just keep it up, keep the nose up, and keep it in the hover. And the same goes for the elevator. Say you start pulling in towards you or pushing away from you too much. Use the elevator the opposite way, and it will stay out. Now the ailerons, I don't know if you've noticed, but I keep to the right, keep pushing the ailerons to the right, because the torque of the engine will actually pull the entire aircraft, like a little top, around the way the prop is going. Or and actually the opposite of the way the prop is going, because of the resistance and the torque. Now what you want to do is just keep a little bit of right aileron, and that will keep it from doing that. And eventually you'll get good enough where you can just keep it in the air, like you see all the videos or the people doing at your flying field, just keeping it straight up in the air for a little while. Now the next thing you want to learn is the canopy away harrier, or hover, which is a bit more difficult, because everything's going to feel switched around you now. But once you learn that, it's just like the reverse, or the inverted harrier. It's really helpful for the next maneuver, which is torque rolling, which is allowing the plane to torque. Instead of pushing to the right, you allow the plane to torque on its own. And this is a pretty spectacular maneuver when performed correctly. Because you just allow the plane to spin on its own to the left. And most every plane I've ever seen has gone to the left. I mean, I've had one on the internet, real flight, like this, that someone made it to go the other direction. And I think a buddy at my field has a little electric that he switched around to go to the right. But most every plane will go to the left. And if you see a plane at the field going to the right like so, they're probably giving a lot of right aileron to get it to go that direction. I've never heard of a gas engine especially going to the right. Well that is hovering. One of the main things to hovering is just practice, practice, practice. 
but I would recommend starting out with your Harriers first, just to learn how to do it. The next thing you want to do after that is any other 3D maneuver. The Harrier and the Hover are some of the first 3D maneuvers you should learn, because that really opens up the doors for all others, such as rolling Harriers or rolling Harriers, which get really close to the ground, or really high alpha Harriers. Or quick hammerheads. That wasn't that good. Let me try again. Let me quick hammerheads around. A little ground tap there. But just other maneuvers like that. The hover is necessity for learning stuff like that. Because you need to want to learn how that if you get in too high of an alpha, you can just hold it up in a harrier and protect yourself. And also, what's good about a Harrier is you can just throttle out of it and not have to worry about the ground. Well, that was our video on Harriers and Hovers. I hope you've learned a little bit. And like I said before, it's just practice, practice. Just the more you can practice it, the better you'll become. And try a lot of different planes. Some planes will do this a lot better than others. Some planes won't do it at all. Um, thank you for watching, uh, subscribe.